be seated, and you will sit in the blue chair. Yes. You'll be receiving the flag. You'll be receiving the flag. Yeah. You'll sit in the blue chair. We are assembled here in this place of honor to lay at rest the mortal remains of Prentice Yates, who went home on May 23rd, 2024. Prentice entered this life on November 20th, 1940. He served in the United States Army as a major. Certainly Prentice's life was filled with the cares and concerns that life holds for each of us, but now we can be assured that he has passed beyond this world with its pains and sorrows into a place of gentle sunshine, a place where there are no tears, a place where sadness is overcome by the radiant joy of our Lord's presence. As much as we may grieve for the loss of Prentice, we must also rejoice that he is with our Lord in joyful reunion with family and friends gone on before. We are left to wait that hour we also should be called to join Prentice at the final reunion. In Ecclesiastes we are told, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. As we wait the fulfillment of those words of truth, let us be steadfast in our faith and be comforted by the familiar words of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. I anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Will you please join me in the closing prayer? Grant the Lord to family and friends present today the spirit of faith and courage. Help them to see death is not the end, but the beginning. Not a wall, but a doorway. Not a dark road, but a path that leads to life. We thank you for the life lived by Francis Gates. We thank you for his service to our nation and for the influence his life had on others. We ask that you bless this resting place and send your angels to watch over it. Please be of comfort to this family now as they go about their lives. Amen. Just got our hitch for military service, please. Government Father, we are here to land our country to pray for Congress. This country called him to serve the United States Army, and he probably answered your call. And now he has answered your call again. We pray that you open your arms and walk to that first time of all. Bless all those who love them to strictly comfort to those who love you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen.
please be seated for the following of the presentation of the time. On behalf of the major guard riders of Northern Kentucky, I'd like to present this case to you and help preserve our place.
that is field four, grade two A. Please allow my staff approximately uh, 15 minutes to lay him at rest. At that time, 